Okay, so today we're going to do some division of decimals by decimals. So, if we look at our very first one over here, we have 4 and 2 tenths divided by 7 tenths. So, I'm going to go ahead and write that down in the way that we see it. And remember, we write our division problems from right to left. So, I have 4 and 2 tenths divided by 7 tenths. I'm going to write it this way, and so this, these are the types of problems that you're going to see today. So if we go ahead and look over here, I have another saying for you. If a decimal is on the side, let it slide. So what we're going to do, whenever you see a decimal that's on the side, we have to make it become a whole number. We cannot have a decimal that is on the side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my decimal point until I have a whole number. So when I move it over one spot, I now have seven, and that is a whole number. If I move it over once, I also have to move this decimal over once as well. So if a decimal's on the side, let it slide. So think about how you're moving this decimal once over here, and then now you have to move this one again one time as well. So I'm going to rewrite my problem up here for what I have now after sliding my decimal points. So I have 7, I have a 4, and a 2, and then my decimal point has now moved right here. And so now this is where, from our previous lesson, if a decimal's in the house, raise the roof. So no matter where that decimal point is, I'm going to go ahead and put that already in my answer. It'll go straight up. So now I have this new problem. I have 42 divided by 7, and this is something that we have done before as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. 7 can't go into 4, but 7 can go into 42. It's going to be 6 times, 6 times 7, 42. And then when you subtract, you have 0. And I also have nothing to bring down. So when you look at your answer, you have 6 decimal points. Have you ever seen an answer written like this? If you have nothing left, you're going to put a zero right there. Six point is really 6.0 or six and zero tenths. And so that is your answer. All right, let's come down to the next one. We have three today that we're going to practice. Okay, I have three and nine tenths divided by three hundredths. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. Remember, right to left, I have three. Oops. 3 and 9 tenths divided by 3 hundredths. And so for here, I need to move my decimal point on the outside because I can't have a decimal out there. I need it to be a whole number. So I'm going to take that decimal point and I'm going to move it once. Well, now I still have 3 tenths. That is not a whole number yet. So here, I have to move this decimal point two times. So if I move it two times on the outside, I have to move it two times once and another time on the inside. And my decimal point is now here. And so kind of like what we've been doing, this is filled with a zero because I'm moving place values here. And so now I'm going to rewrite my math problem. I have three. And then this is 390 with my decimal point at the end right here. If your decimal point is on the side, you let it slide, and so that's what we did. We had our decimal point over here, we had to slide it, and if your decimal's in the house, we're gonna raise the roof. Take that decimal point and put it right up top. And so now I can do my division. Three goes into three once, one times three is three. Bring down your nine. Three goes into nine three times, three times three is nine. And finally, bring down your zero. Three goes into zero how many times? Zero. Zero times three is zero. When you subtract, you have nothing. And so your answer is 130. Your decimal point is at the end. And so there is nothing left over. So 130 is your answer. All right. Last problem that we're going to practice today. I have 2 and 79 hundredths divided by 9 tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and write it. 2 and 79 hundredths and 9 tenths. And if you notice, we've got our decimal on the side. So if our decimal's on the side, we let it slide. 
So we moved it over one time, and then we also have to do that inside the house too, one time. So I'm gonna rewrite my problem. I have my whole number of nine, and then I have two. I moved my decimal point, so I have seven, and now my decimal point is here. So I have 27 and 9 tenths divided by 9. If your decimal's in the house, raise the roof, put it right there. And so now I'm going to go ahead and do my division problem. 9 can't go into 2, but it can go into 27. 3 times 3 times 9 is 27. When I subtract, you get 0. I'm ignoring that decimal point, just bringing down my next digit, my next number, which is 9. 9 goes into 9 1 times, 1 times 9 is 9, and when you subtract, you get 0. So here, your answer is 3 and 1 tenth. Awesome. So, you have a few lesson practice problems. So I'm going to go ahead and have you pause your video, try and do these yourself, and then when you're done, check your work to see if you've grasped this division of decimals by decimals concept. Okay, and here are your answers for number one. Your answer was 610 and zero tenths. And for number two, your answer was 15 and zero tenths. So you had to move the decimal point two times in the first problem and then only one time in the second problem.